All right. A little bit of a off schedule stream, but uh, was able to get it going this Saturday evening. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I got uh, a deck I sort of played before. Um, we have a Displacer Kitten. Uh, Displacer Kitten combos with uh, Teferi and a Zero Drop. You have Mox Opal and uh, Lotus Petal. So this cuts bubbles and you just run better, like just independently better cards like Urza, Asper Sentinel. And sideboard's pretty basic, anti-combo, anti-creature, Karn package. Um, but yeah, I just felt like, uh, you know, Kitten sort of fell off, fell off since it came out and there's a big surge of it, so I want to give it another shot, so... Let's see how it feels. Hmm. All right, we got paired up. Let's see how the night starts, huh? Jeskai Control, Ozymandias, oh no, a good player, darn. Damn, his hand sucks. Facing a control deck and only having one land and all that. That seems like a decent keep, getting rid of Shadow Spear. We have a turn one Chalice, a bunch of artifacts for Thought Monitor, so... See if they're just can tripping here. Up, oh. rude as fuck. Imagine if we won the die roll like a good player. Imagine if we just won the die roll like a good player. So I have one, two, three artifacts. This costs four. Asper Sentinel is a hot one. Sure. Oh, they're on a, like a reanimator style deck. This costs three. Hermit. Damn, Hermit would have been so good the turn before. <sighs> That's unlucky. Looks like you're just playing like a reanimator deck. Alright, we have some hate, but not a ton. God, imagine if we do Hermit instead of that. I'm doing so much better. I'm gonna probably just get a thumb here. Yeah, and Ancient Tomb, I guess. Ah, the old uh, force of all off the top to turn after you need it. Excellent. Okay. A uh, simple game of on the play we win, on the draw we lose. So we'll just bring in some more counter spells. Mm, cut some fair stuff. God, we have a hearse in the main deck too. Imagine. Um, Why all this stuff? Esper Sentin uh, Ingenious Smith is more of a value card. Right, let's try that. New a Tormod script main. Bricking pretty hard on our openers. Yeah. The reason maybe we wanted a Tormod's Crypt in the main deck. We do have a force. We can always like play out Awara. They thought sees us. I mean, we're pretty screwed, but I mean, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what else we're, uh, we're trying to get here. So let's just play that. Play a Lotus Petal and pass. Like, the thing is, if you try to molt, like, what, like a double force hand, and then even if you have, like, land double force, you force twice, and then, uh, you know, <laughs> you lose, so. 
uh, upkeep and tomb. It's kind of annoying, huh? I'm gonna get that out of there. Okay. Ooh, Hermit's good. I think I actually have to play Hermit over making a token. And then next turn. Okay. I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, do I attack into... I think I attack into like a hole breacher right? or something silly. They're just passing back. This is a pretty weird game. Another land. Okay. Uh, Taffy off the top wins the game. Let that go. Because they still have to put something in the graveyard and reanimate. Ooh, Ledger Shredder, huh? Let me say, okay. Tefri. Hmm. Do I want to make a construct or play cat? Probably just want to make a construct, right? Just like try to win real quick. Is that worth trying to get fancy? Okay. See what they have versus a chalice on one and a hermit. We have pro Ugh. do we want cage and crypt main? On the draw, probably worth it. They're gonna miss a sanctuary back of tainted indulgence. It looks like. Okay. I mean, they can't dark it here. Okay. Uh, we actually win. Tef bounce is lethal. We don't have to, even have to show the cat. Of 
Cool. All right. Drew the combo, didn't need it. On the draw, I think maybe we want to have, uh, have some extra hate. Me over the Smiths. His hand's great. Sentinel Crypt Force, turn one. It's pretty solid. And no thought sees. That's very kind of them. I was thinking about not, like, I probably should have attacked, but I was just playing around like some dumb shit. They're gonna show and tell. Opal's bad. I'm doing it this way so I could put nerves in off show and tell if I need to. Play a land die diamond. They show until here, we get to put this in. Okay, so cantrip back into the show and tell. Oh, I could have Tormod's scripted that away. I think I fucked that up. Though, I mean, I guess not. They play the land, right? Yeah, I mean. I think the game is over. Get a chalice on one down. All right. That was a nice win. That feels good. Did not feel like a great matchup. Facing a graveyard deck with minimal graveyard interaction on the draw. So we take those. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday night. Nothing like some legacy. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I haven't played Urza in a long time. Happy to give Urza a try. 
The uh, the utility of adding like mana for these other things is actually so relevant. No one wants to play. The one hearse main deck is kind of weird. It's like three tutor targets and a, like three saga targets and a hearse. Hmm. I mean, we did just say it's reanimator, right? It's like big brain if we were able to get that in play. So like, that was like blue black reanimator show tell, huh? Rock and roll. The daddy, dredge player. <clears throat> we can, they are 4 0. Land, Mox Opal. Chalice on zero. Chalice on zero and Sentinel. Can't Chalice on one. I mean, I could stop their LED hands. So I think I'm going to give it a shot. Right? We go Cavern, Esper Sentinel, we go Mox Opal, Cavern on Human. Chalice on zero. Just to stop their LEDs, Esper Sentinel. And then Shadow Spear. And then we can Chalice on one next turn if we need to. Drawing a land is solid. They got rid of a dredger, okay. Ooh, hermit, huh? Do I chalice someone or hermit? I think hermit's better because it allows us to have something that kills bridge from blows if they have a crazy turn. Mm. Just stops back looting, or I guess it doesn't stop breakthrough from more than one, so I'm gonna go this way. Literally just started the league, but it's felt perfectly fine. Like, I did draw two cards off of it versus Esper, and this is why I didn't do a chalice on one. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about breakthrough, right? I see if they let me draw a card here. They do not. Um, I'm probably gonna counter this. We're just just real quick. I'm gonna counter this. I think. Do we want to counter this? They're gonna. They they don't. They they can currently, Icarid also. No, I'm gonna let this happen. I really want to use this to get rid of a bridge from below. Okay. Ur 
is a one mana off, unfortunately. So we can't Tefri here. We can Chalice on one, which will stop any Chalices of Voids. And then we can also hold this up, so that seems fine. They have not hit any bridges. Let's see if this is the breakthrough X is one. Oh, just casting a Golgari Thug. Okay. Oh, they, they have the Hogak in hand. That kind of sucks. I mean, I, I get to bounce it next turn, so it's really not, it's really not like too big of a deal. Okay. All right, let's see what we draw here. Tap land, excellent. Uh, I'm not. My constructs will be able to like trade with Hogak though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, my construct will actually just be able to trade. Get rid of a grief here. Still no bridge from belows. Okay, I mean, easy, it's just such an easy trade. Like I'll trade, then they'll replay it, and then I can bounce it with Tef. So being able to trade with a fucking Hogak is so. <laughs> So insane, which is something you're not typically able to be afforded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two Urzas. One, two, three, four. How many artifacts is that? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I can equip the construct, right? Okay. Equip this. So I have an eight-eight life linking, and I also have malevolent hermit, which I could sack. Two bridge from belows. Urza giving us Urza is going to give us a lot of mana, which is nice. Well, well, this turn I had to hold it back into a summoning stick. Next turn, I think I'm going to... The thing is, if I attack, they could block and get a lot of uh, bridge triggers. Like, they probably won't attack here. Oh, they are going to attack. Interesting. I mean, I'm blocking all day. All day, I block. They get two zombies. I gain eight life. The two are exiled forever. Then they're just going to replay it, but then I have another Urza to make another, uh... Alright, this is the third Hogak we'll be facing. Third time they cast a Hogak here. Okay. Damn four song. I could always Tef bounce this. I just play another Urza first. Gets me a construct. Seven. And then just equip again. Okay. 
Or I could play a Tef and bounce Hogak. That lets this die. This could block anything though. Man, wow, this is a tough one, man. They have 17 cards left, two bridges gone. They have, they're gonna have two Icarids coming back. I think I need the lifelink. Yeah, I think I need the lifelink. Shadow Spear holding it down. But I guess they can't exile Stinkweed if they want to dredge. So only one would come back. I like how long the log thinks Urza's name is the daddy. Okay. <laughs> Look at Moto. It says cast the daddy. That's pretty funny. That's classic moto. Uh, no bridges. I think I trade again. At twenty seven, this is the fourth Hogak that got cast. Has to be a record for most times Hogak was the, the same Hogak was cast. <laughs> the question is, do I force it or bounce it? I think I bounce it. That's a nice one. Ooh, we got a Karn. Oh my god, I can't cast the cards I want. I just forgot I have Chalice on 1 and 0, so that's no good. So I guess I just get myself, like, a Walking Ballista. And pass the turn. That's silly of me. I mean, I was casting it no matter what, right? So. I mean, I was supposed to just tick up, though. Alright, so they could dredge five, and they have 12 cards in the library, including two bridges. I have to hit one of the bridges. Just flying to kill our planeswalkers? Okay, that's fine. Alright, I think I think we could beat that. Maybe. Another Hogak, okay. We are not drawing too hot. Right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can cast this for four. I mean, does lifelink work with does lifelink worth with work with walking blister or no? I know that death touch does. I genuinely forget. Uh, 
It does, right? Because that's the whole Heliod combo, right? So it should work. Because if I go like... How do I... Oh, wait, can I Yorion? To get another... Token? I can Yorion to get another token. Or I could play Ballista. And equip. I could do it for for three. So I could go like ping, ping, ping. Like while holding priority, so I'd go to 28, kill those three. They'd lose that. And the following turn, I could Yorion. Oh, and it actually stays alive, which is pretty funny. Which is actually bad, right? I actually don't want it to stay alive. I want it to die. Damn, I forgot. That's, that's, that's bad. Uh... I guess I could ping one of my own creatures to kill it. I can go like ping, ping, ping. Oh, that was silly. Fuck. Stupid plus one, plus one, man. Ping, ping, ping. Yeah, like... That doesn't matter. They dredge five. They can only dredge two more times total. I could just pass. I shouldn't have tapped itself, though. That was, like, my whole thing. Because then I could have equipped just something else. That was, like, that was very silly of me. Very silly. Um, I guess I could just wait for them to go to attacks and make a decision from there. Yeah, the spear giving it... Like, I wanted the life, like, not the plus one. Yeah, that was, I made a silly mistake. Alright, they only have three cards in the library. Alright. Um let's we have to do math. Math is dumb. Um Alright, so easy block here. Uh you then we block here. This here, this here. Oh, that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then I go... So I could just... I mean, how many zombies would they get with this? They'd get... Do you get two zombies with this, then lose it? Maybe that's okay. Alright. Alright, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17. Let's just say okay to this. Next turn, I could just attack. I could just attack with that if I wanted to. 
And they only have three cards in their graveyard. I just have to survive three turns. Are they going to play another, uh, another thug? Sure. So I can attack with this. I could just leave it to block now because I'm not dumb. I think I probably have to attack. So say they swing out, they're going to have... Two Icarids. So, like, block Icarid, block Icarid, right? So imagine this is my board that I have to take. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I gain 4, I'm at 10. But say I block something, say I block Icarid and then ping 1, 2, 3. I'd go at nine, take away three attackers. But if I have to do the Ancient Tomb, I'm worse off, right? So Yurion Urza. Damn, I'm probably going to fuck this up. So you have three cards in the library. Damn, I might time out versus Dredge. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, shit. I could have gotten like ensnaring bridge with Karn, and they can never remove it. All right, let's see how bad my math abilities are. Block. So I, I have Yuri on the block too. I didn't factor that in. Yeah, they they're just they're like they're, they're players to attack and hope for the best, right? So I say, okay, block, block. Block, block. And then I go one, two, three. So I'm at nine. And I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no. Oh, but then I gain one here, 10. All right, I block the highest power, right? So I take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 currently. And I would gain 4. So I'd, go, I'd die. I'd be a negative 2. So I had to find 3 life somewhere. Like So here, if I take 3 off and go 1, 2, 3 on the 3 Narc Amoebas, I would be taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage. I would be at nine, and then I would take one from the... I'd gain one from the Icarid. Is that right? I'd go to one? I think my math is right on this. One, two, three. I go to nine. I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... But then I take gain one from here. I think that's right. Oh, I'm gonna time out soon, so.
Oh shit, I math right. I actually math right. Holy shit. Oh man. And now Hogak's gone. I do have 10 minutes now to, to win this next game, which feels impossible. Like, you'd think this is good, but, like, it should be good, but I don't think it is. So I equip, I gained five. I go to six. Then they're attacking for... Because then they're attacking for three. Can I... Hold on, hold on. Can I... Oh, I can do... Hermit makes things not countered, which is relevant. All right, hold on. Hear me out, hear me out. If I go Karn... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana currently. Karn, Hermit, and Snaring Bridge... I equip Karn No, I have to play Karn first. Go. All right, I have to win the next game in eight minutes. No shot, right? <laughs> no shot I could beat Dredge in eight minutes. Damn. This is a bitch to win. Maybe it's obvious to other people, but... Alright, so we basically just have to pass twice. It's like li literally all you have to do. They're saying I killed their vibe. They're not wrong. Oof. And saying we won this game, no way I'm winning in eight minutes. I'll just bring I'll bring in Cage Crypt and then like, you know, they're gonna play Hogak, we're up sixth. They have one card left. We just wanna play whatever card we draw and and just be be like move on quickly. They can't attack with Hogak. Sure. All right, so we're going to post board games. All 
I should have force a willed that. We have six their turn and then they deck, so. Brutal game, all right. That was fucking painful. Then we cut the kitten combo. <laughs> I don't think we're winning that way. That was a really cool game. It was very interesting. It was a lot, lot of thinking that I was not willing, <laughs> did not think I would have to do. Uh, but I don't think we can win with Displacer. Retrofitter is really slow. I think we just do something like this. All right, we have to play. I have to play so quick right now, though. I can cut in. Genius Smith finds hate cards. Kitten wins the game. They're playing for a trophy, so they won't concede, and they sh they, they don't have to. On the draw, should I bring in plows over chalices? Like Charles didn't. Charles slowed him down a little bit, but. I don't want to chalice and draw like cage. All right, let's do two Smith, two Cat, because I don't know what's better. Yeah, there was it was a good game, man. Just took a lot of time to figure out the. I, I fucked up with the whole plus one plus run from Shadow Spear, and then it took me a minute to try to recoup it. Uh, this is an instant keep. Instant cube. I'm letting looting resolve. Hopefully they go for an LED flashback that I could force and then crypt them. Oh wow, they have nothing, okay. In there. Earth is a way to a fast win. Okay, we definitely are letting looting resolve with a crypt in play. They're attacking, All right? They think they're the beat down. All right, those plows are looking good. They hit a therapy. I mean, I should have had a stop on their draw step. I mean, they could call see him here, but yeah. They named Karn. Cool. We have an Urza and a Force and some Plows to back it up. All right. 
If they cabal therapy a plow, it's bad news. A nature's claim on my <laughs> not drawn great. <laughs> Just need the we have a fast clock, okay. They're at nine, their pain lands are adding up. Let's see if they have the breakthrough. Another breakthrough with this LED could be scary. Thankfully, two bridges are gone. Okay. Are they just dead? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. All right. That was way easier. Took the trophy away. Real hard earned game one. Oh, man. That was a great game one. Hmm. All right. I have not drawn the one of hers in the Euro Index, so surprising. So faced a reanimator, a reanimator and dredge, two graveyard decks, and uh, we managed to uh, battle through without having any, uh, you know, like ley lines or anything like that. So that felt pretty nice. All right. It's a turn one hermit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. If we draw a land, it's a turn two Urza, right? So having a turn one hermit could be good versus a random combo deck, so we'll take it. Scolding turn. So cool. I wonder what this could be. I don't want to run Urza into days here. Like end of turn bolt or brainstorm. What do we got? And it's turn to fetch Vault Pass. Sneak and show? I'm leaning towards a sneak and show style deck currently. Which does run days. Uh, I'm not going to give myself up right now. Yeah, I don't think I want to put Yurion in hand. I want double activation. I just have too hard of a time believing that Delver would keep this hand. Did 
think I'm just going to ride the hermits for now. Maybe I'm supposed to play one of them out. Called it. We called it. Now I could put Malevolent Hermit in play. Malevolent Hermit is good because that makes an uncounterable Karn for Ensnaring Bridge. And they're forcing my Benevolent guys pitching a Daze. Well, I'm glad we played around Daze. Okay. I'm not going to pop that on that. Sure. Next turn, they will have three mana. I'm definitely jamming something. Uh, I'm going to go with Urza. They brainstormed without fetching. They're, they're anticipating this to be countered. What if I just let it go and put an Urza in? But let's go and put Urza in. Because I think they have a through the breach. I'm going to be like silly and let this happen. Yeah, this is at seven. This has to block this. Hearst doesn't have text, unfortunately. Okay. So Hearst makes them trade this. Well, no, I can play Displacer Kitten. Play Hearst to bounce Urza. And now this is eight power and they have to chump it. And we still have Hermit up. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Value Displacer Kitten, huh? Bringing four Force Negations. Cut Hearse. Retrofitter, Two Smith. Something like that. Alright. So just a bunch of, a bunch of dumb decks. <laughs> a bunch of dumb combo decks. We're here just trying to play some fair kitten magic. I think that sideboarding makes sense. Well, I got to mull that, unfortunately. We'll 
keep this one, getting rid of Shadow Spear. Not in love, but Sage. They shouldn't have played that first. I wouldn't have forced a Lotus Petal. Well, they had double Lotus Petal and Besaju, damn. That's, that's a good hand. We're in trouble. Turn one Besaju, double Petal. Need to hope they have no mana, which is... Yeah, of course they have it. Oh, maybe they have a sneak attack? Unless they kept it just because they have a Seiju, I don't know. Let me draw a card, it'd be pretty cool. Maybe I wasn't supposed to force negation that pedal, but once they play Besaju, it's so wow. They're using a pedal to preordain. Oh my god, what's happening over there? We could pay for days if they force we draw a card. Forcing would be weird. Yeah, by the way, exactly what happened. One, two, three, four, five. It costs one, right? It costs two, and damn. It was one off of being able to do that. Oh, it doesn't mean they have Meltdown. They run Meltdown. And of course they have the Besaju. Why are you running? Oh yeah, is that a Meltdown common in that deck? I don't think so. So this is cost five. That Meltdown, uncounterable Meltdown is pretty fucking catastrophic. Sure. <laughs> that, that timing is weird. All right. Ancient Tomb off the top. Ancient Tomb one time. Ancient Tomb one time. Let's go. Please get Brainstorm locked. Come on. You uncounterably melt down to me. You should be Brainstorm locked. That's fair. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, they're legendary, though. <gasps> we actually hit it. Oh, my God. We actually hit the fucking Ancient Tomb, and they can't counter it. Let's go. Play a Caracas to back us up. I think we got there first defense grid. For, oh my god. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. Wow. Alright. I forced a couple Lotus Petals. I, I thought it was fine versus Besaju. Opponent learned Besaju was legendary. Right. 
Solid start. Solid start. Deck feels pretty good. Deck feels pretty good. the draw like a dummy opponent is 1-0 we have to mulligan easy keep hmm. probably hermit maybe it's supposed to be urza but i want like one payoff Are you facing the nemesis? Mountain painter? Burn! We're facing burn! Oh no! Oh no! Not burn! I always lose to burn! Fuck. Burn's gonna be a fucking rough one. Damn. I, run I always run decks with like no basics. Like the price of progress just crushes me. They're gonna play like an Eidolon. My deck's all one drops. It's just gonna be so fucking bad for me. Chalice of the Void. It's a card with text at least. Okay. See if they fire off one drops now instead of Eidolon because they know about it. Yep, they are gonna go after one drops just because of the uh, another. Ch I, oh wow, they just did one one drop. Interesting. I will trade both Esper Sentinels for a Goblin Guide. Not even close. Not even close. Oh man, an uncastable Urza feels so bad. Yeah, I think I have to. I have to conserve life when I can. Now I have a chalice down. A Dina Smith might be able to find me a land for Urza. Like, Ezra Channel is cool, but it's like I'm not playing a value game versus uh versus burn.
hitting artifact lander is so insane to give me the option to to trade. Really want to find one more chalice. Ancient Den gives us a Lord uh, Urza online. I mean, we're dead to a lot of things, but like whatever they're doing now. Casting a Rift Bolt at my Ingenious Smith. Okay, I think I'm okay with that, honestly. Because Urza will pressure their life total a lot. I don't think I'm playing Saga. That up. So let's see. I'm dead to price. Um, should we play Urza Saga here? Price of Progress will do eight. If they have Price and Fire Blast, we're dead no matter what right now. If they have two Fire Blasts. If they Price right now and Rift, we're still, yeah, so there's no, I should just play this and hope for the best. Okay. Just hope that they don't have like fire blast plus price or double fire blast or something. Let's just hope the chalice says text. Really just have to get to shadow spear. First burn will bring in all the forces and uh, Oh uh, yeah, they have Sphere of the Critics, and if they have, I mean, if they have the Fire Blast, we were dead to this even if we didn't play another land. The, the, the fact that they're running, like, Sphere of the Critics is kind of a tilter. turn see if we can fade now we just died a price of progress though they're fetching here weird oh, a double fire blast out of the three cards just no one drops and <laughs> just no one drops in their hand. Just all game winning cards. Oh, it's so unlucky that the burn deck didn't draw one drops. It's so frustrating. Let's bring all the counter magic. License Hurst. Pith Needle, Retrofitter, and Kitten. Alright. Damn. Double Fire Blast instead of... Damn, double fire blast. Ugh. And fucking. Whatever that's called. Scare the critics. Alright. Can we do legacy things now? No. Ugh. Q 
keep because it has a it has a plow and double force. Like it's definitely not great. But we have a turn one plow there thing. A turn two put Yuri on in hand and force something. And then we have two artifact lands for our thought monitor. So yeah, so let's see if this hits us like a blue artifact, blue mana source of some kind. A displacer kitten. That's what I want. That's exactly what I just asked for. Fuck, that sucks. All right. Eidolon, I don't care about. I don't think. Yeah, just, just like, this is how you die, right? They just cast, like, bolts and shit. Like that's that's how you die. God, Esper Sentinel would have been so good. All right, well, at least we have double force for the time being. But last turn I could have drawn a card for free. It sucks. I could play Kitten or Thought Monitor here. I think it's better to play Thought Monitor. If I draw a zero, I have what one two, six mana. I can't go. If I draw, I need to draw a lotus petal. Or a, they did nothing that turn cycle, which is a little weird. I'm gonna let this go. I, I like I have to play around the fire blasts and like yeah. All right, zero drop. Actually playing, I want to just hold up double force, I think. Unfortunately, I can't hard cast either of them. Yeah, I'm just going to be on Saga Shadow Spear with Double Force and hope it works. Okay. I feel confident from this from this game point I feel confident. Okay. Alright. Able to get one there. I'm glad the keep worked out. Um plow just seems so big in the opener. Yeah, Kitten Kitten was a blue card for force. Where Smith would not have been. What, 27 blue cards? Do we really want to go less than that? Probably not. 
I think it's just so important we have the blue card in force. Damn, that's a shame. Mulliganing sucks. God, these mulligans are killing me. I, I mean, I have to keep it. Get rid of Tef, I think. Just hope to draw land that they like goblin. <laughs> Prismatic Whisper. If they goblin guide us into a land, it's just so clutch. Nope, okay. Worst possible thing, excellent. Uh, I am just gonna play this out in case I want to, uh, it'll get, let me get like an opal. If I like luck sack an ancient tomb, it's huge. I think I have to force that. That's gonna end up doing a lot of damage to me. And I also, if I don't force it, my next force is just going to be the most painful thing ever. We're breaking on lands, so we probably lose the game. Kind of sucks. Maybe I was supposed to go to five. I just, I just can't imagine. Yeah, I mean, you play your hand deck, you draw like... <laughs> You throw zero lands and die. I guess that's a thing that could happen. I definitely have to get Mox Opal. And just pass, I guess. Damn. Maybe it's supposed to go to five. I don't know what five I'm looking for, though. It's just. Yeah, and they have like smash on my opal, sure. Four cards in hand. Just passing back. Got me. Unscare the critics. Sure. Classic one two punch in the legacy. Okay. I'm at eight. Oh, they power blasted my cavern Urza. That gives me the smallest speck of hope. Oh, uh, I have the tiniest speck of hope now. A cavern actually mattered versus burn. Oh my god, we actually we actually might do it. Holy shit, we might actually do it. Uh, can I play this? I can only play this if I hold up white, which I should be able to do. Displacer kitten blue. Alright, now I can I can gain two at any time. I actually will gain three because displacer kitten would blink this first. Has the league? The league's going pretty well. We faced we. I had an insane game one versus Dredge that we won. There was so much combat math involved. Just it, it was it was just it was really really nuts. Oh that that should that should seal it. I hope. Um, that should seal it up. I hope. Okay. Um. 
I'm just gonna not I'm literally not gonna do anything. We just get Shadow Spirit win from there, so that's gonna be my play. Smash the smithereens on my indestructible land. I actually think I just let that go. They rebbed my Urza and then smashed <laughs> my Razor Tide. Not not the tightest play from the opponent. I've been making a bunch of mistakes as well. All right, the game the game's over. Whoo! Beating Burn is. It's fucking huge. Four out. Going for the old trophy. See if this spur of the moment league does, does something great for us. Here's the deck, by the way, Boxy. You just got here. You, we got Yorion. We got Urza. We got Esper Sentinel. We got some Chalices. We got some Kittens. You know, it's just, it's just a good time. Well, all the stuff we love. Ingenious Smith. Ingenious Smith was really good. It found us uh, an Ancient Den versus Burn, which, like, uh, yeah, so that was nice. I, I, I've been facing a lot of combos, so I ended up cutting it. So, like, post-board, I haven't faced, like, a Jeskai deck where I think it probably shines. Yeah, like, even versus Delver is probably reasonable. But, like, I'm facing, like, Dredge and Reanimator. It's, it's like, a pretty slow payoff, you know. So we faced uh, we faced Reanimator, Dredge, uh, just Burn, and before that was in my memory shot. The hell did I just face? Oh, Sneak and Show, Sneak and Show. Going for the old trophy. I just said Jess guy shockwave they beat me up a bunch recently they're playing like standstill I think right yeah they're playing standstill so we're a saga deck so we have a decent amount of game but they're running uh you know EEs and shit in the board I mean I'm keeping this I think versa versus like a Jess guy deck like turn one this turn two chalice sure would love to be on the play but never am so Let's get the old Esper Sentinel down. Okay. And they have the Wasteland, why wouldn't they? You got it, buddy. Another Sentinel could be good. Double Sentinel versus Control is, is something. They run two Snapcasters. I think I'll have to trade one off if they happen to have it. Yeah. Okay. They could have Hole Breacher, but we do have a Force if they have a Hole Breacher. 
Okay. Uh, I think I'm supposed to chalice on one again. Uh, it's probably better to have just have two chalice on ones. Take away a chance of like ending one away. Yorion for a blue card to pitch. Opponent has yet to cast a card on turn six, which is pretty unique for Legacy. Other than Genius Smith for the matchup, we thought it might have text in, which is nice. Yeah, Shotgun's been killing it with this deck, though. I think I... Oh, Counterspell paying for both of these. Uh, I am not going to fight over... <laughs> I'm not going to waste my force on this. Sure. Oh, I should have played a land. Oops. Silly. This is going to be some big... Some, be some big constructs coming to town. You got a retrofitter foundry as well. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power. Eight power on our constructs. Flood Strand, yep. And they run one verdict, so they'd have the verdict now. Opponents in the tank. Well, while the opponent's thinking, if you're new here, you should follow the stream for free. It'd be pretty cool if you did. Hardcast, Shark Typhoon, and then concede, please. Okay, let's see what they're going to do. Alright. Main deck meltdown would get me. There honestly hasn't been that much eight cast in leagues that I've seen, for what it's worth. EE would definitely be believable, main deck. Could I could sure these types of decks could fit that in? A prismatic ending or something. Playing a Jace and paying two? Oh, verdict. Okay. I'm pretty sure they just die, right? One, two, three, four, five. Can I make a nine power? They have the one verdict. It's kind of. 
kind of irritating, but I think we could truck through it. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, six. So I just get Mox Opal here. Seven. There's a. Let's get a Hermit in play. We'll attack for eight. So we have a Force of Will on a Snapcaster, and then they can't force back because they're at one. What the fucking jokes? Like, Verdict, like if they have a second Verdict, you got me. Two Verdict would be a lot main deck. All right, one game away from a trophy. Oh man, one game from a trophy. What are we doing here? I need a bottle of water, finish mine. One away from a trophy. What do we want versus control? We don't want plow. It's just, do we want force negation is basically the question. Do we want force negation over chalice? They're probably going to bring an E. Looking at their list, at their last 5 list um, that just came up in chat. Against us, they'll bring in two EEs. Maybe Pyroclasm. They have Spell Pierce, Spell Snare. E is so good versus Chalice, though. What if we just get Chalice in the draw to make their EEs worse? Then this is just good versus, uh, what do they have? So they're on four standstills and four timeless dragons. They're not on, uh, any sagas. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to try Force Negation, and let's see if, like, at any point we'd rather have Chalice in the Force Negation. Uh, it's a turn to Uncounterable and Genius Smith. It has a Karn. I'm going to keep it. Fucking Mox Opal is terrible. I'm just going to run this out with and, and the Caracas and pass, and hopefully they, like, Prismatic Ending the Mox Opal. End of turn brainstorm seems like seems like something. I think Chalice is also his less hits for Smith. Uh, please tell me it worked. Yes! So we got an ending out of their hand. That's so great. They're brainstorming in response to the uncounterable ingenious Smith. Which is something you could do. What would I like here? Dot monitor, I guess, like a is a, is a long term, um, a long term good card. Hearse, uh, Pinion retrofitter, those are all solid. Esper Sentinel. Okay, 
We did hit a Lotus Petal or a Shadow Spirit. I think I'd rather have a Lotus Petal. And then we'll just play the Mox Opal. Plow on Ingenious Myth, sure. Definitely going to play a Hermit here. I think they have a spell snare in hand. That 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 reads like a spell snare. Alright, they're fetching. Are they just gonna cycle their dragon now? They're brainstorming, okay. I would not have sacked the hermit to stop a brainstorm. I will do it on a uh on like a Tef or an Arset or a Jace. Upkeep. Uh, upkeep plane cycling, sure. That's a way to that's a way to shuffle a brainstorm. Alright. Four cards in hand. Oh wow. One of them was a wasteland. Unfucking lucky for us, huh? Urion in hand. So they have Tundra, unknown, unknown, unknown. Now this could have been a chalice. I think I prefer the force negation in this situation. I really don't want to pop any of these petals because then I can't play Karn. I would love to be like this Karn down. Oh, we're not running liquid metal coating. Damn. Seems like a little bit of a miss. Surgical on Urza's Saga. Okay. I'm sorry. What I love, Calamari. So they go land Timeless Dragon. It's going to be pretty annoying to have to beat that. Yeah, it's a little annoying. Damn, I knew that one turn ago. I can tick up here. Sort of see what they do and then decide if I need to get like an ensnaring bridge or something. Yeah, actually ticking up is good because I can Yuri on it and to put it back to five counters if I want to. Surgical on Saga is a little annoying. All right, play a land. Pass. Well, if that isn't the best possible thing, I don't know what is. Such a such a clean answer for Timeless Dragon. Brain 
brainstorm. Yeah, brainstorm is fine. So this would have hit a lot of one drops. So maybe it should have been a chalice, but versus EE and say they brought in surgical and it's like they run four surgical. I wonder if they brought four in or I mean the cards like alright, let's see what they end up doing right here. This is this is a big this is the whole game. Okay. They just let it resolve. Um I'm gonna need bird with this. And then tick up on my Karn and say go. Now we could blink. <laughs> we can get something with Karn and then blink it back to five. So, or we, or we could just get Lattice next turn and win. Like, right? We like this. We have six mana. We have Force. We have Hermit. So we should feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. So we face uh, Reanimator, Sneak and Show, Dredge, Burn, and Control. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Don't, the card doesn't have text. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have seven minutes. That doesn't have text, really. I guess it does a little bit. Well, not really, right? Okay. All right, we just go get Lattice now. I guess they could have Shark Typhoon. Yeah, they could have Shark Typhoon. Did not play around that. That wasn't on their last list, so if they added a Shark Typhoon, I guess they got me. It is a shark. They started running Shark Typhoon. Damn. Oh, Atawara. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That's fine. I mean, that that doesn't. It simply doesn't matter, right? Oh, I can't force now. That's interesting. So I actually can't force a little because everything's colorless. That's pretty funny. Nice, Auto Water. I love this fucking card. Auto Water is so good. It's like su such a great effect. It's such like a, a unique effect that I, I love it so much. And now they play Tef. I just say okay. Yeah, okay. Sure. Because they have to bounce Lattice. Then I just attack Tefri. Yeah, Ottawara makes a lot of sense. This card is so good. Did not play around Ottawara. Fucking love this card. Okay. They bounce this. EE and zero. Oh wow, that was uh. I I just, I mean, if they have. Let's play Karn, right? There's the trophy. We gotta shrink this. Why is this so big? Trophy. What's up, Matt? What's going on? It's a pretty nice one. Pretty nice trophy. We take those.
All right, that was awesome. Deck felt so good. <laughs> Deck felt so good. Deck's absolutely perfect. Don't change a thing. Uh, wow, felt it felt really clean. We had we had one or two clunky draws with the mana base, which is not surprising, right? Like eight colorless lands. Uh, you know, caverns could could have a little bit of tension. Never drew hearse, so I have no opinion on that. Um, the rest of it was great. <laughs> the rest of it was great like you have force for combo plow for fair and then a, and then a wishboard you know like it, it's pretty clean it's a pretty clean list um yeah the thought monitor was nice i hate bubbles so the fact that it doesn't run bubbles is a huge plus uh i'm a big fan of that uh the bubbles are dumb and I really wouldn't give two shits if the bowls got banned. Um, what do I want to listen to? There we go. Um, yeah. We take them trophies, though. Let's open, uh, let's open some chests. I uh, always open chests. Always open your chest, people. Full set. No. Scammed. Well, 11 chests, 13 play points. So, do these total 10? Isn't this card banned in, like, every... <laughs> Aldrin's Epiphany? Isn't that banned in all formats? Like, that, that it matters in? What's the Archmage's Charm? Seven ticks. All right. All right. Not, that's not nothing. I'll run the Epiphany. It's not worth anything. Damn. Got a nice unicorn. Kalia. Jeez, haven't seen that card in years. Times eleven forty-five. All right, I'm gonna call the stream. Uh, it was sort of sporadic, and I got some stuff to do before I go to sleep. But uh, I'm glad I did. It was awesome. <laughs> Deck's really good. Uh, all right, everyone have a great night. Uh, let's raid Legacy Pet.